The full episode of this podcast can be seen for free. Click the link in the bio chat. Let's get it. In my mind, homie, uh, this is gonna I, try to do you like safari. Uh, in my mind, I ain't gonna never be no victim. Uh, I, I I try to I try to stay tactical. Uh, even when I was a kid, homie, at 11, 12 years old, I had uncles that used to tell prison stories. So I packed a lock and a sock as a kid. Uh, I packed a switchblade as a kid. Uh, man, I got weapons everywhere. I act. Well, this ain't no weapon. That's a lighter. Hold on, hold on. Ooh, 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 ooh. That's a lighter. Ooh, 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 ooh. What are you moving around with these days? Uh, what is this? Well, this is a flashlight. Well, you, you never know when electricity go with. Oh, God damn. It's, it's a brass knuckle taser. It's a brass. That's like a flashlight. It's a brass without the switch. The police got the switch where they just can't. I can lay on this. Here. What in the fuck? You hear the power in it? You see, I just shocked myself at motherfucker. You see, you see me just jump back? I so, just, so, that bitch still got power winning. You see me so, just hit myself? So you hit a motherfucker with that shit. He, yeah. he over here trembling like he catching a seizure. Yeah. This the police mate. Straight from the police academy. That's not legal for civilians. No, it ain't, it's, it, it's illegal to have this, but who cares about illegally <laughs> spraying somebody when you're scared? <laughs> wait, hold on, hold on. This wait, is wait. pig poker. Only country boy know about this here. This is intimidating. This is just all for intimidation. I ain't gonna lie, that looks super intimidating. Well, come on! They're the scrub, nigga. You ain't got to stab. Just come on, come on! They're the scrub by four of them gangbanging, nigga. Hey, yo, so I'm thinking, I got we you. finna I have got to you. be scrapping. Don't worry about it. I got you. I'm gonna get you all this shit here. You ain't got to worry about Wait, it. Wait, hold nigga. on. How many fucking things? This this the best one right here, actually. What is What is that? This my mace glove. You don't know it's mace until I shoot you. I'm just walking around like a little old gun, just walking with Mason, man. I'm just minding my business. I ain't bothering nobody. It's only if you bother me. You. you this is you like some stuff. Where did you even go to get all this shit? For this is self protection shit. Yeah, I'm trying to think how can I have an edge. You see me walking down my. So I'm trying to think how I, mean, I want to still be normal. Uh, and I just got to be the foolish shit that I do. I mean, uh, niggas, one o'clock in the morning, we pull up on some niggas. Nigga, they hurry up and get on the phone and call some more niggas up there. Uh, the nigga come up, homie, he get, the nigga really get in arm's distance before he said, yeah, you be saying some real shit on the internet. But the niggas I'm with, and shout out, yeah, yeah, shout out to my Miami guard. Uh, they on point, though. You know what I'm saying? But uh, You don't feel like you're being dangerous at times? No. Nah. Uh, in my mind, homie, in my mind, you got good and you got evil. Oh man, I ain't evil. I ain't I ain't doing nothing evil where I have to live in fear of of, of, of retribution coming to me. I speak against evil. So I sleep good at night. Let me tell you this though. There's a quote unquote gangster rapper right now who don't want to go to war with another gangster rapper or go to war with the niggas who've been killing his homies in his hood for the last 20 years, who probably say, if we catch Charleston. And we beat the shit out of him, or we do something to him, it gonna make everything we done been we've been saying sound great. Well, check this out. Nobody wanna go to jail. Now, if they can kick my ass and I not call the police, <laughs> I, get okay. a, I get an ass kicking every day. But everybody's afraid of the fact that I'm gonna call the police. That's a f when you say you will call the police, they're like, oh, okay, we can't fuck with them. Yeah, I they let me. That's kind of crazy, right? Well, listen, I can disrespect their mama. I can disrespect their dead homies. I can disrespect their hood. I can disrespect their children. As long as I keep threatening to call the police. So I'm telling our communities, y'all see the antidote for this shit? Be willing to put these niggas in jail and they'll stop. <laughs> <laughs> no, that is, that, that's a point, though. Niggas who know a woman to call the police on them do not jump on them women. You either got to kill them or leave them alone. Most niggas don't want to kill a woman and go to jail. Most niggas want to whoop a woman, but they don't want to go to jail for whooping them. Most niggas, ah, but they won't because they don't want to go to jail. The woman that they can coerce into not calling the police and sticking to the hood rule, she mm. get her ass kicked all the time. But that woman that's go, nigga, y'all, I'm going to push you. She don't get hit. 